Hi, I'm Lee, and this little bit is Eva, and we are going to work a little bit on charging the clicker today. So, we're going to start by making the sound of the clicker and giving her a treat. There we go. I'm going to do that again. A treat. A treat. And keep that up. A treat. She's a tiny little thing. The pieces need to be really tiny. A treat. If she's jumping up on me, I won't do it. I'll wait till she's not engaging in a behavior I don't care for. Eva doesn't really know her name very well yet because she is brand new. So I'm going to use some of her kibble to work on the name game. Eva! So I'm going to wait for her to relax a second. And then I'm going to start to teach her her name. We're going to play the name game. Okay. Eva! And what I'm going to do is say her name, and then I'm going to reinforce her by clicking, and then I'm going to give her a treat every time she indicates that she heard. That's all. Eva! She doesn't have to look at me. She does not have to look at me. She only has to indicate she heard. Eva! And because she's pulling toward me, I'm going to put the treats on the ground away from me. So she's reinforced moving away, which is good because jumping is obviously an issue. Eva! 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 Good. Eva! her face in my general direction and that's enough for me to understand that she heard her name. Eva. But if she wants to look at me, that's fine too. Eva. I teach the name as huh, not as a look at me or come to me. Those can happen and that's fine. I would certainly reinforce for that. But for me, I just want to say her name and make sure she indicates that she heard it. Eva. Very nice. Very good. Very good. Okay. I'm just clicking for calm behavior here because she is hyper and I want her to understand that is a desirable behavior. Eva! Eva! Good girl! A double, a sit and a look. Okay. Now I'm going to move on to work a little bit on sit. And what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to use uh, two treats at a time and I'm going to teach her both the word itself eventually, but I'm going to start with the action and I'm going to teach her a release word. In this case, I don't. I'm going to use okay. And what okay means is you're done with the sit. At first I'll start out not asking her for a sit by using the words. I'm going to lure her and, use, and develop a hand signal. So the hand signal is my hand like this going over the top of her head. Eventually it'll look like this. Boop. So I'm going to lure her into putting her bottom on the ground. If you can't get your dog to go immediately into a sit, you can give her reinforcers for incremental behaviors that approximate a sit so, and start working toward putting her bottom on the ground. Excuse me. Good girl. There she goes. 
I'll only reinforce for the release for a short period of time, just long enough to teach you the word. So a few days, and then I'll fade the tree. Because, you know, really just being allowed to relax is a reinforcer itself. Oops, there you go. Okay. Good job. Very good. Let's try that again. Her until her butt's on the ground and her feet are on the ground. Good girl. It's a big bite. She's very cute. Okay. Good job. And I'm ignoring all this jumping up behavior because ultimately I don't want to pay any attention to the stuff I don't want. I really just want to keep reinforcing her for sitting as I have, I'm asking with my hands. Okay, good. Okay. okay. Good job. Very good girl. Very good girl. Very good girl. That's very good. And yeah. Now, I think it's time to take Eva for a little bit of a walk because she's been eating for a few minutes and we're going to see how she does with that. So I'm using kibble and I'm going to work on sit with a hand signal and try to keep it so that she's not jumping up too much on me, but that we are getting some good behaviors with a signal so that she's learning all the jumping around and all the other behavior doesn't work that what we want is a good solid sit behavior from her, not spinning, not grabbing at her leash. Just sitting. Okay. Not saying the word sit, just signaling her. Good girl. Okay. When she gets up, She's hearing me okay, she's seeing the hand signal, she gets up, I click and treat. But I won't do that for much longer. Good girl. Okay. So I don't have a lure in my hand, I'm just giving her a signal. Forms the behavior, she gets marked and treated. Okay. And then reinforced for the next behavior, which is to get up. Very good. Okay. Now I didn't treat her that time for getting up, I only reinforced her for sitting. Once she's doing this four out of five times in a row, I feel pretty confident that she's going to. Um, sit, I'll start adding the cue, but I really need to see solid behavior before I add a verbal cue. Good so, I'd still do that more before I'd add the word sit. Maybe another session where I got her to respond back quickly. Very nice. Alright, let's see if we can move on to down. So she's offering sit. I'm going to take a treat, I'm going to lower her to the floor. And when her body hits the ground, whoops, I'm going to give her a reinforcer. If she won't go all the way down, I'll mark it. Okay, good job. I also want to make sure the leash isn't interfering. Cool. So we start with the SIT and we move it toward the floor. Good girl. 
I'm just luring her into the behavior. I'm gonna make sure that leash isn't interfering. And folds cultivating hand signal at the same time. Oops. If she doesn't actually down, the tree goes away and we start over. Good girl, perfect. Good girl. Let's try that again. So we're getting past SIT and going straight to the floor. Oops. I clicked for her butt being up, so I'll try that again. almost all the way down, so I'm going to reward that. That leash was preventing her a little bit. Okay, good job. Let me get her down. Okay. Oops. Good girl. There you go. Very nice. Oh. Good girl. Very good. That's very good. Good thing. Very good. Just what you want to see. It's a good bees. Okay. So anytime she's willing to get up, that's fine. But she's got a big piece in her mouth, and they generally want to sit and finish chewing it. Try it again. And lower in to the floor. Good doggy. Very nice. So there's your down to start. A nice little down. Good girl. Yay! Good job, good dance. Okay. Yay, little girl, that's very good. That's very good. I'm going to try to use the signal without the treat and see if I can drop the lure now that she's done it a few times. See how we are. Uh -oh. We're going to start a little recall and I'm going to use um, here because I think people tend to say it a lot less. And I think that it's good because a lot of people tend to use come thinking the dog sort of comes pre-programmed with it and they end up not rewarding it like they should. So it ends up becoming a more of a drudgery than it is a, a word that the dog likes to respond to. So I'm gonna start by having her follow me while we're on leash and see if I can get her to start learning what the word is. 
I'll go out of frame now, but you can still see her. Right, so. When we're walking along, I'm going to start walking backwards, and I'm going to say Eva, and then use my recall word, which in this case is going to be here. So we're walking forward, and good reinforcement for that. And then I'm going to say, Emma, here. Good girl. And that's all there really is to it. You just need her to be away from you a little bit so that you can, when you're walking, so that you can run away from her. Yeah. Here. And reinforce her when she gets to you. Slightly before she gets to you, you want to click. Here. So what she sees is that she's running towards you. I'm going to do it the other way too, so she doesn't think it's just the one direction. Here. Good job. Here. Let's walk. Emma, here. Emma, here. Oops, I'm reinforcing her right there. A little out of frame. Emma, here. Good girl. We'll walk up a bit. Emma, here. She's the tiniest. Not hard to get too far away from her. All right. Another thing you can do when you're just walking and playing around the apartment, you can play tag where you run away. Emma, here. And then reinforce her. So tag, so that she's not right on top of you. Emma, here! Good. So that's playing tag. Or, if you could get her to go away from you, Emma, here! You could play hide and seek. While she's playing with a toy or doing something different, you could run away, hide, and call her. Emma, here! Emma, here! Puppy, puppy! Good girl! She doesn't need a whole lot of encouragement. Emma, here! <laughs> good. She got distracted playing. Very good. Sit. Good job. Okay. Good. Sit. Good job. Okay. Nice. All right, ready to go for a walk? So we're going for a walk. Okay, I'm Lee. Here we are again with Miss Eva. And we're going to do some work in a different location today so that she doesn't think the only place to go, give her baby, is there on the other side of the room. So, I'm going to start with some impulse control exercises. Just wait for her to sit and reinforce that. We'll make this a little easier for her. Good girl. As long as she stays seated, I'm just going to keep on giving her a treat. Good girl. She's also looking at me. Not at the treats, which is good. Good girl. Okay. There we go. So, let's see if she'll do it again. Good girl. That's a big one. Oh, that takes a long time to chew. It does. That's like for a big dog.
So her decision to stop jumping on me is rewarded. Good girl. Oops. I do owe her that treat. Hi there. But she did change her mind about the jumping up. I'm going to reward her for deciding to get off me. That's even better. Good girl. Come. Good girl. Very earnest looks. What do you want from me? Nice waggy tail. That's great. This is very good impulse control for my five month old puppy who's had no training before this week. Very good. Oh. Just turning away. I'm going to reinforce that, which was her choosing to get off me. And I don't want to create a behavior change, so I'm not going to reinforce this until she sits. This could be potentially self reinforcing. Now that she's sat, my fault. Good job. She chose not to jump up. There we go. Good girl. Very good. Very good. The sitting is the good thing. Yes. The sitting is the good thing. That's right. That's right. Good girl. All right. So let's move on to just a little more name game. I think she's still not 100% sure about her name. We want her to be 100% sure. Emma. Eva. Emma. Yesterday, a few times. Emma. 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 Oops. Can you count? Yeah. I'm going to move into asking her for sits with a signal and seeing if she will do that behavior. I'm going to see if she'll do the sitting on cue. Emma, sit! Sit! Good job!
Okay. Sit. Sit. Okay. Sit. Okay. Go ahead. Sit. Good girl. Okay. Sit. Nice. Good girl. Sit. That's real good sit. Really good sit. Oh, that's so good. Yeah. Oh, I know. Want to do some down? So we'll try down. Good job. Job. Very good girl. Very good. Good job. Yeah, while I'm lowering that concern down. Down. Good girl. Okay. Good girl. Notice I'm not saying sit. I'm emotioning for it. Down. Down. Okay. Good job. There you go. Nice. She did it with a signal. Okay. Oh, there's a cookie right there. Look at all that. Well, she's going through quite a lot of kibble. That's great. This is her lunch. Girl. Down. I really like to fade the lure, so. Down. No. Oh. Good. Okay. Down. Nice, look. Very good. Very nice. Okay, good job. 
Very nice. Trying to get rid of that lure. Good. Very good. Yes. Finished. Good job. Good job. That's it. Okay. Nice. Okay. Very good girl. Which one right there? Emma. Nice. That's it. Look at all them good cookies. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very nice. that bottom down. Nice. Very good. Okay. Good job. Let's see about this. Over here. Good job. Over there. What's that? Oh, over here. Over here. Good girl. Let's go back out. Look. There's cookies. <laughs> Very nice. We're just getting her accustomed to the word. Sit. Nicely done. Emma, here. Good. All right. Let's see if we can get a chicken. Go with that. Oh, look, it's Gucky. Right there. Up here. <laughs> You're having fun. stop there because I think somebody might actually have to go to the bathroom. Emma! Okay. Let's go eat first actually. That's what we're supposed to do. Eat first, then go for a walk. How does that sound? Want to do that? That's cool.